Hello. Your purpose for playing this recording is to inspire within you ever greater levels of self-love, appreciation, and acceptance. For it is only when you truly value yourself, when you really feel worthy, that you will finally allow yourself to relax and enjoy your journey through life. The social mirror. If the only vision we have of ourselves comes from the social mirror, what that is from the current social paradigms, did it not from the opinions, so perceptions, and paradigms of the people around us. Our view of ourselves will be like the be reflection in the crazy mirror room at the carnival. You might hear things like this. You're never on time. Why can't you ever put things in order? You must be an artist. You be like a horse. I can't believe you are. This is so simple. Why can't you understand? But all we have to acknowledge the tremendous power of conditioning in our way thinking, and to see that we are determined by that we have no control over that influence, see it's quite a different map. There are actually three social maps, three theories of determinants widely accepted, independently or in combination, to explain the nature of man. Genetic determinism basically says that your grandparents did it too. I often That's why you have such a temper. How it is your grandparents had like your temper and it's in your DNA. It just goes Let through generations who inherited it. In addition, I still love others. The reasons which any man offers to you is in both cells and eyes that they are betrayed. You are bringing in your childhood experience essentially as a great object to be still in your future. And believing it again. That's why you're afraid to be up every minute. This is what you're afraid to be up to. You feel terribly guilty for making mistakes because you remember deep inside the emotional scripting when you were very vulnerable and tender and dependent. You remember. The emotional punishment, the rejection, the comparison with somebody else when you didn't perform as well as expected. Environmental determinism basically says your boss is doing it to you, or your spouse, or that bratty teenager, or your economic situation, or national policies. Someone or something in your environment is responsible for your situation. Each of these maps is based on the stimulus response theory. We most often think of in connection with Pavlov's experiments with dogs. The basic idea is that we are conditioned to respond in a particular way to a particular stimulus. How accurately and functionally we might determine this at most is the period. How clearly do these mirrors reflect the true nature of man? Do they become self-fulfilling prophecies? Are they based on people? We can dominate the human mind. Speak more clearly and write more precisely. You take in information and express it with a flow that self-assurance. That's when your skills lead to riches, and that's precisely when this course beats any others hands down. This is all in response to, well, a weak understanding of our human environment. Right in your future and enjoy all the reward. Congratulations for joining us in this life-changing course. Your decision sets you far above those who will never take the time to improve the quality of their interaction with the world.
Well, these stages of learning are perfectly normal, and you will pass through them while becoming comfortable with your newfound powers. What you looking at? Break yourself! This is really weird. <laughs> the art of being wise uh, is the art of knowing what oh, to overlook. Sorry, I'm like, I feel like I'm cross-eyed. All I see is myself. And I don't like that. I can't. I want to back away, but I can't. At the same point, I want to move closer. Hmm. What are you trying to say to me? Could sense the gap in my knowledge. I had a recognition. It is well recall. when one is judging like a friend again? to remember that he is judging you gap. with the same godlike <laughs> and superior impartiality. Do you hear the process? Awareness, familiarity, knowledge, expertise. We're going to speed things up. To be ignorant of one's ignorance Scientists is the limit of the ignorance. Scientists have shown us that a brain must have learned its busy growing brain rights, the essential interconnections that link brain cells together. The more you engage your whole brain with sounds, images, feelings, games, puzzles, and rich, challenging experiences, Stupid the more densely you grow the useful connections that the with your brain. No one can do that for you. With most people, unbelief in one thing is founded upon blind belief in another. Be careful how you interpret the world. Sometimes we'll ask you to focus your mental attention. Constructing internal pictures with your imagination into both cerebral hemispheres and accelerates learning. The times will ask you to take many quizzes to challenge your analytical and creative brain functions to work cooperatively. Common sense is the collection of prejudices acquired multiple by age 18. Through multiple sensory systems, is how you will fully engage your brain. Nothing has an uglier look to us than reason when it is not on our side. And congratulations to you for taking a big step towards self-improvement, self-actualization, and self-confidence. Let the information flow at you and around you. You are the center of this entire enterprise, and you'll want to immerse yourself in the flow of knowledge transfer coming your way. Three little words, I love you. Three tiny power-packed words. A lot of ease, part of the carefree enjoyment of life. The Lollapalooza.